Alright guys, MJ Designs here again. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to how to add text from Cinema 4D into Photoshop with ease. It's just a basic basic quick tutorial. It's really effective. Alright, so earlier on I made this text object. And um, yeah, this is this will be the text that will be important into Photoshop. Alright, so just have a look at that when it's rendered. Alright, so it looks quite nice. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to render settings. Now you're gonna go to output. Now here I go twelve eighty by seven twenty in HD format. That's just me, it's up to you what one you want, but it just comes out as better quality. Um film format you wanna go down to HD as well. Make sure your current frame make sure your frame is on current frame just so it captures just your text. I'm going to go down to save and you're going to choose a path. I'm going to select um, desktop. Alright, save it to my desktop and I'm going to name it like. Alright, so once you're done there, now you're going to go down to format and you're going to go down to QuickTime and you're going to look for QuickTime PNG. If you're on a Mac, you're going to look for. A PNG anyway, but I'm not too sure what the name's called. It's definitely down that column. And then make sure you take alpha channel. Okay, this is important. All this does is it renders the text, no background, just the text. So it's it's better to use on Photoshop. Then if you're using like reflection, go down to anti aliasing, and then go down to best. Um. Go down to two by two, but if you want, if you want a, if you're on a high performance machine, you and which you think can take it, go down to four by four. It's just to do with the render really and how quick and how slow it is. Um, I think that's your render settings done. So I'm gonna go over and render it. It's looking quite nice. Alright, we're done. Alright, we're gonna head over to Photoshop now. Now oh, there it is. We'll head over to Photoshop. I'm gonna create a new document. Then you're gonna go file, open, and go to desktop, and it should be there. See, so now it comes up as a render. Then you're gonna drag it to your other document. And you're just going to resize it. It's looking nice and smooth. The edges are really smooth. So. so that's about it. Um, if you want to add anything else, like renders or anything else, um. um Um, I think I'll have a render. Um, renders. I'll have a bit of Megan Fox. Just to spice it up a little bit. Not the best render I've ever seen, but. You know, she does the job. And then just count it down to the side. That's all you really need to know, guys. I'm sorry about my voice. I've got a bad cold. And um, obviously the tutorial qualities will get better throughout the series. If you drop a comment asking for more tutorials, we will get around to them. Um, if I have helped you yeah, in a big way or a little way, please thumbs up and subscribe. Right, I've been MJ and I'm out.